the FCC lattice is one of the most beautiful lattices in uh, all of the 14 revised lattices. Let's discuss a few of its properties. So to make this lattice, you first have to make a cube and then you have to mark the face centers. So you have to bisect these uh, squares which look like parallelograms in this um, projection but the front and the back face they still look like the square so once you have bisected all these face centers then you can also join uh, the face center you, the opposite face centers and figure out the center of the cube and then you can point the center of these spheres which are at the vertices and the face centers this is how an FCC unit cell looks like. And uh, let's make one more unit cell close by because the lattice is infinite. So let's just make one more to get the feeling of infinite. And uh, let's bisect the face centers and put the center of these spheres. So now focus on this atom here. The atom which is at the sphere, I should say, more general, the sphere which is at this center, what is the closest sphere to this sphere which is centered at green? So you, you can just take the distance between the centers of the spheres and decide which point is closest. There are so many points here. For example, the green one is very far away from this point right here, but it's close to this one, right? So we will have to figure out to which point is this point the nearest. So it looks very obvious that this should be the nearest point to this green dot. And there should be many more like this, right? Like these points also. They also look very close. But since um, the whole situation is 3D and we have taken a 2D projection of it, we have to be more um, wordy. We, will, we have to talk in terms of uh, words actually. So this line here, this is half of the face diagonal of the cube, right? So we have to find out the face diagonals going from these points and then we can figure out uh, more such neighbors. So let's see like this one. This is the front face of the cube and if you join this line, this is a face diagonal of the cube on the front face. So I'm looking at it as, a, as the front face, this, this face here. I'm looking at it as the front face and this is the diagonal of the front face. And this atom and this atom here, this, these two points here are uh, at the distance of half of the face diagonal. So it's same as before. So these, if these two atoms are at some distance, this distance is also the same and uh, these two spheres, these two points should be equidistant and so this, these two points also because they are also, if you join these two points and extent, you will figure out that uh, the distance between this and this is half of the face diagonal of the cube. And similarly, you can see more on this, on this side, right? So already you can see that the near, there are one, two, three, four, and five nearest neighbors. And there are many more, not many more, um, but uh, from a point in a three dimension, you have eight octants, right? So you have eight, uh, this point, and you can have eight cubes around a, a given point, right? Four on the upper part like this <laughs> and you can feel that four on the lower part also so basically we have seen only two octants two rooms surrounding this point and we can see that there are one two three four five closest neighbors so how many more are there so you can't just do a multiplication if you say like uh, there are five neighbors, five neighbors in two rooms, in two octants you can say, or rooms you can imagine. 
So we have to make six more rooms. So you can say that five divided by two in one octant, which is obviously wrong because even in one octant we had three, right? This one, two, three. Why this unitary method is not working? Why this direct proportionality kind of thing is not working? Because some of the uh, spheres are common in two rooms. So you can't use the direct proportionality kind of a logic here. So you will have to use a different one. You will have to be more smart and think and imagine in terms of uh, geometry, pure geometry. And do not use something which is obviously wrong, right? So how do we count this? So imagine the floor, this point here. Imagine the, the plane here, this down plane, and extend it. So then you can see that because this lattice is infinite, uh, you will have two more such atoms like this. So you will have four atoms on this plane, which are at uh, the distance of half of the phase diagonal. So these four. And then what you do now, think about the other plane, this plane. And here also you will find these four such points. Okay. So on this plane also. And uh, there's one more plane because we are in 3D. There's one more plane which you have to consider and that plane is this one. And then you have four more here. Same distance, A, a by root 2 or half of the half of the phase diagonal. So if I count them together, I get these 12 nearest neighbors. So number of first nearest neighbor, which is also called the coordination number, that coordination number is 12. And the distance between the first nearest neighbors, you can say that this distance is half of the phase diagonal. You see this is a phase diagonal. And normally we write this distance as A, the edge as A. So the phase diagonal will be from Pythagoras theorem. You have this another A here. So root under A square plus A square. That would be 2A square and uh, a root, if you apply the square root, you get A root 2. So distance between the first nearest neighbors is half of the phase diagonal. So you take this and divide 2, right? Because you see this red distance is A root 2 and you have to just get the half of this distance. So if you do that, you have A root 2 by 2 and that will be A by root 2, right? Okay, so the first nearest neighbor can be assumed to be touching because these are only the center of the spheres. You can assume that these spheres, the first nearest neighbor are touching. So when they're touching, the distance between the centers of two spheres when they touch each other is, it should be obviously 2R, right? Even, even for the circles also, if two circles touch each other, the distance between their centers would be 2R because the point of contact has to lie on the line joining the center. <laughs> and this is so simple that I can't even prove it. <laughs> yes, so you see that the first nearest neighbors can uh, can be assumed can be assumed to be touching, and that's why two r is equal to this distance. This is r. This is r, and two r is equal to a by root two. This blue distance here. So this is about the first nearest neighbor. Now let's think about the second nearest neighbors. So once again, we have the green point to start with. And from here we can, so this was the first nearest neighbor, right? There, this was the first one. And there are 12 such, such neighbors in the whole of lattice. But then we are looking for the second nearest neighbor. So one of uh, the contender is this one, because this distance is A, right? And then you might think that maybe that one, but no, that is A root 2, that is phase diagonal, right? That's along the complete phase diagonal, so that's A root 2. So this one, the smaller, the second nearest neighbor is this one, these kind of atoms. And how many such atoms are there? So even in this diagram, in two units, you can find one, two, three, four such um, neighbors, the second nearest neighbors, four of them. And then if you complete the picture, you know that opposite to this, there will be one more here. So you have five and opposite to the upper one, you will have one more here. 
so th these are coming in uh, octahedral kind of a fashion up down um, left right and front back kind of a fashion so six there should be six in number what is the distance between these second nearest neighbors also you can see the second nearest neighbors are along the edges these these are the edges of the unit cell and what is the distance between the second nearest neighbors so that distance is of course written as a length of the edge that is a okay let's now think about the interesting case in which we will be looking for the third nearest neighbors so these are this to this green dot this one was the first nearest neighbor and uh, these kind of atoms were the second nearest neighbor and for the third now you might say now we can think about these atoms here but then but then but then this this or maybe this this that's the question okay so for the thir third nearest neighbor we have these two contenders and let's calculate the distances let's calculate their distances the green line is of course the phase diagonal and it will have a length a root 2 but how about the orange line how about the orange line so it's not an edge of course it's not a phase diagonal it's not even a body diagonal because body diagonal from here will go straight to there it's not even a body diagonal mm. so what is it let's call this is a new kind of a line so let's call it a, a n diagonal new diagonal new kind of a diagonal okay and let's figure out its length so join this line and join this line so now you have to focus on this triangle which is joined by the um, orange lines and let's think about the distances this distance is definitely a this is a and that distance that is half of the phase diagonal and that is a root a by root 2 and now this is 90 degrees can you feel this this line how is this 90 degrees i'll give a simple argument this line and this plane this extend this plane and this line is normal to this plane you can feel very simply so that angle is actually 90 degrees and uh, we can apply pythagoras theorem and then we can figure out the length of the hypotenuse so let's see this is root under a squared this squared and this squared so a squared becomes this thing becomes a squared and this becomes a squared by 2 and you add them and do a square root and you will get a times root 3 by 2 now what let's come back to these two lines so which distance is lesser so it's about a root 2 this distance or this distance so this is a root 2 versus a root 3 by 2 and which is smaller so 3 by 2 of course we know is 1.5 so this turns out to be a root 1.5 and this is a root 2 so for numbers which are greater than 1 the square root if you take the square root of the greater number then you will get a greater number <laughs> anyways square root 2 is greater than square root of 1.5 you can check it out on your calculators and that's why we would say that a root 5 is smaller and that is why the, the neighbor is not along the phase diagonal these neighbors they will be the distance between the third nearest neighbor will be a root 3 by 2 these these neighbors are the third nearest neighbors and uh, their number now we're what is the number of third nearest neighbors okay so the second one is there can you see how do i know that that's the same thing because what is this line this and the line joining this so this green point is uh, if you look at the cube it's it's on this left face this green point the down face and the front face so there are now three remaining faces this face here the right face the top face and the back face the green dot is not on these faces and the face centers of these faces if you connect them you'll get this kind of a line 
okay you can rewind to understand it again to listen to the statement again these are the end diagonals so in this cube i can see three of them and then in the nearby cube then again i see that the green the green sphere is on the down face and on this uh, right face this time and on the front face this time so then there are three faces remaining this one the the face center of the top face the face center of the left face and the face center of the bottom face okay so the face center these face centers and they will be joined this time to get the end diagonals okay so now you can see that uh, in just two of these cubes in just two of these octants in just two of these rooms i can see eight such neighbors one two three four five sorry six such neighbors right and uh, in each room i get three neighbors and you can see that these neighbors are not coinciding these three neighbors are completely different from these three neighbors the neighbors which are in this room cannot be shared by the other rooms you have to feel it and then you can say that we have three neighbors in each room and if you multiply 8 into 3 then we get the number of third nearest neighbor to be 24 this time in in each of the octant you will in if you like in any of the octants you will never have common neighbors that's why the answer is 24 okay Thank you.